Where do I see this in nature? Um, maybe if it's a shape, you know, like where do you see the shape? If it's, if it's like an algebraic thing, like an arithmetic thing of adding, subtracting. You can think, how do we use this? Or are there things in nature that use this? And then make sure that that's how you introduce the ideas to the kids. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question? Specific. 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 Specific.
Don't start that way. Pay attention to the program. Start practical. Last two weeks, we don't need to do the program. Start practical. Practical to the program. Then show them examples. Have a little bit of and then teach them how to do it on the board. I'm going to teach them how to do it on the board. I'm going to teach them how to do it on the board. I'm going to teach them how to do it on the board. Okay, let me give you a few tips about teaching math. We've already been talking about how you start with examples. You can also start with questions. Um, now this is stuff that we've been talking about in general. But I want to remind you of it. Give kids time to struggle. Ask them a question and then don't be quick to give them the answer. Like when I gave you the Mobius strip assignment, did I quickly tell you, show you what they, how to solve it? I gave you a chance to try different things. That gives you the chance to use your creativity and your own thinking. We thought of lots of ways to try to move that little paper around. And then eventually I told you names. So give them time to struggle. Um, the other thing is. You don't always have to know the answer to their questions. Sometimes we think we do. But they might ask us questions we don't have the answers to. They might ask us questions that we don't have answers to. What could you do in that situation? You could also explore it with them. Where you could ask the other classmates. We want them to understand that learning isn't about knowing the answers. I would tell you, I'm going to tell you what I was going to say today. Shake up. It's not about knowing the answers. It's about the process of discovery. Does that make sense to you? Because that is a super important thing. Um, the other thing is sometimes they might have ideas that aren't right. And sometimes as teachers, we're very fast to say, no, 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 it's not like that. But stop yourself. Give them some time to think about, explore with them. Okay, if you think that, then help them see what that really means. And help them understand for themselves whether their answer is right or wrong. So, um, the other thing I want you to understand about math is that it needs to be kept human. So, when, let me give you an example of what I mean. Um, let's imagine you have a kid here who's in 
They're learning basic addition. So you can tell them if I have one apple, you can tell them to have one apple, and I add another apple, so I'm going to add the apples in three. How many apples do I have? I'm going to apple up there.
কিছু নাই
Pak